Hey everyone, Sean here from Work Empire, and today we're going to be talking about some sandbag training. When it comes to using a sandbag, it's based around the idea of dynamic variable resistance training systems. It's based around four main principles, body positioning, holding positioning, planes of motion, and stability of the implement. First one is body positioning. So depending on if you stand bilaterally or at a staggered stance is really going to affect how the exercise feels and is executed. For example, when you do a deadlift, clean, press, or a squat, having your feet side by side or as slightly staggered is going to definitely influence the way and output that the exercise demands. Second is holding positioning. With a barbell, there's normally only four or five holding positions. You have narrow grip, reverse grip, snatch grip, things like that. When it comes to a sandbag, there are usually four different types of handles and any variation of the two can lead up to over 12 possible grip combinations. This will again lead to its uniqueness and availability to cross over to normal movement. Third are planes of motion. Normally when we lift, we only lift in the sagittal plane, which is left to right, focusing on just one side or the other side or using it together. When it comes to training with things like a sandbag, we become into more three planes of motion, working through the transverse and the frontal plane. This more replicates how we move throughout a normal life. When we walk, we move in three planes of motion, forward, backward, side to side, and up and down. This is to help replicate some more of that daily movement. Fourth, and definitely not least, is stability of the implement. When you use a barbell or a dumbbell or even a kettlebell, the weight is fixed. It's not going to move. It stays the same shape and it holds its integrity throughout the movement. When using a sandbag, it has the ability to morph its shape depending on which direction it's being accelerated or decelerated in. This is a great to help teaching new movements as you have to resist any anti-rotation or anti-lateral flexion, things of that nature. So without further ado, follow me along with this video as I take you some of those DVRT principles on these advanced and beginner type movements. Enjoy!